We're here at the Institute of Directors for Decanter's Highlights of Piedmont Tasting. We're going to a masterclass, we're going to interview the president of the consortium, and hopefully we're going to taste some really extraordinary wines. Let's go and see what Piedmont has to offer. We are here especially today to present uh, our new brand. It's a, a very important uh, opportunity to meet uh, the consumers. We are here to show that uh, you may have uh, still some Barolo in your cellar. Why don't you try Barbera? Why are you bored with red wine? We have a fantastic white wine production. I think for special for my wine, for my winery, that I represent a family. So I'm very proud owner of this uh, historical winery. And for me, it's not just business, it's also my, I can say, my life. I live about the winery. I can tell you, I feel very happy to be here. We are not imported yet in the uh, UK, so we expect to find somebody who is interested in our, the quality of our wines and to start to work with our wines in your country. Wines, I think today, more than in the past, wines that are more approachable, uh, easier to drink, so perfectly fitting in this type of market. For me, this situation is very important because uh, I uh, testing my wine for my client. It's very important to uh, maintain the, the contact, no? <laughs> Piemonte is, is uh, always a piece of surprise, and I would say that today's surprise is Moscato. What's brought you here in the first place? Oh, I thought it was quite interesting, sort of the different regions of uh, Italy, the smaller regions up there. I don't know a huge amount about Italian wines. Some of the different grapes here are quite interesting. Smaller producers also quite interesting. And um, I come here with some of my friends as well, so a bit of a slight evening out. I came here because I realised that there are some names I'm not aware of. Some new names, you know, which are not the usual suspect of the uh, uh, wine. That's why I came here. It's always good to go and see what's in in the marketplace. We're looking for, uh, say, particularly for Barbera, a good sort of middle and up, upper quality Barbera. And there'll be certainly a good few here we've seen. But I've seen a Rouquet down in the corner there, uh, which is, I think, arguably one of Italy's most obscure grapes. And then there's things like Arnais, Favorita, and things like that, which are always um, quite interesting. I've come to just kind of wrap up my Master of Wine dissertation, which is actually on the cruise of Barolo, so it's a good place for me to get lots of guys together and have a quick chat. I mean, we get the, the, the feeling that uh, we are uh, growing, uh, we get more uh, attention, so we look forward to for the next edition. <laughs>